Welcome to Off the Page. I'm Will Kane with Jim Garrity. Um, you want to do Arkansas real quick? Sure. Um, I think yep. I have less to say there. Uh, the only thing I would say is that I, I, you know, another prediction of mine, which was kind of sort of wrong, it, they're, they're effectively tied, right? Uh, effectively, yeah, there's going to be a runoff. Okay. But in other words, i gotta, I got to check the percentages. She led the, a lot of the polls for a while by like seven, eight, nine points. Yeah. So one, it kind of says the polling was off. And two, I thought she'd survive it. You know, she'd get dinged up, but she'd come, you know, merge. Now I'm less sure of that stuff. So. But well, I'll say that. I first. have one. I have this other question for you, Jim. Do you think? Yeah. Um, I, I think there's this this theme of anti incumbency is way overblown. Okay, I think there's more. There's a larger message in all of these elections, and one of them is that voters are saying what they actually want, and we can see that loud and clear on the right. And, and we look at Kentucky and see that. But the left seems to be saying it as well. Look, when Sestak beat Specter, granted there are a lot of factors playing into that one, but um, with Halter, who ran pretty far to the left of Lincoln, is the left redefining itself as more progressive as well? I think as you see each party get a little, the perception is they get polarized. But what it basically means is that <clears throat> conservatives are leaving the Democratic Party, and what you know, what few liberals are in the Republican Party are asking themselves, what am I doing here? The Lincoln Chafees of the world. Um, we've seen this process go year by year. So you end up with a conservative Republican Party and a liberal Democratic Party. Um, you could argue that each side is demonstrating that they have less and less tolerance or patience for people who are um, these kinds of throwbacks. And on paper, Blanche Lincoln is, you know, a somewhat conservative Democrat. She opposed the public option, and that, you know, sent the lefty bloggers up in arms. And so they want an example of her. You could probably argue the same thing about uh, Specter, who you know probably voted, you know, until recently voted with Republicans, you know, more than half the time. A lot of annoying votes. The not proven on impeachment. The uh, vote for the stimulus. Um, but you know, generally, you know, Arlen Specter clearly was not a down the line liberal, or else he probably would have won his primary yesterday. Um, and I think the the perception is that you know, what do Democratic primary voters want? They want liberals. What do, you know, Republican primary voters want? They want conservatives. Right. And if you're not one of those you better have a really stellar explanation as to why they should reelect you. And I think in the end, uh, Spectre didn't have one, and we're seeing Blanche Lincoln kind of falter in coming up with one. You know, after a while, I think the, the defeat of Bennett in Utah indicated, voters get tired of hearing about how senior you are. Yeah. Or how small it is for that. After, after a while, uh, you know, you don't see people, um, you know, NFL teams replace quarterbacks and head coaches, uh, corporations change CEOs. Uh, you know, you, you see turnover in almost every line of work at some point. So the idea that, well, I've been around a long time, that's why you should keep me, after a while voters just aren't that receptive. Well, I find, yeah, I find the ideological honesty and the ideological choice that voters have now to make in a general election refreshing. Hey, uh, you guys can find Jim on nationalreview.com and campaign spot and follow me on Twitter at Will Kane. That just turned into an interview, man. That's why I did that. <laughs> Perfect. Great.